Hello to you and welcome. Bienvenidos. Adelante, Chicago. I'm Lourdes Duarte. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're going to begin with the crisis in Venezuela. It has resulted in the largest exodus in Latin America in years. There are questions over whether even more Venezuelans will be leaving that country. Is there a pathway to a resolution? That is a big question. Ana Gil Garcia, Dr. Ana Gil Garcia of the Venezuelan Alliance is here now with some answers. Always very nice to talk to you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Lourdes. It's always nice to see you again. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I want to begin just by asking you the results of this election. It's been two weeks since the uh, election took place, since people voted. Where do things stand right now? Because I, it doesn't seem like there's really a resolution. Yeah, you're right. Um, unfortunately, uh, you know, we, uh, the two weeks ago, we were um, the uh, July 28th, we were in a celebratory mode. Uh, we were celebrating that really, you know, we had the, the one of the best opportunities in, in the Venezuelan crisis uh, to win the election. And I, and, and I do believe that we won the election. Um, so to that point, um, after the 28th, uh, you know, Maduro declared himself or, or the National Electoral Council declared uh, Maduro the winner with 51 percent and 44 percent for uh, Edmundo Gonzalez, who was our candidate. Um, in one week, many things has happened. Uh, of course, you know the international community immediately. Um, you know many of the of many countries they they decided to stand with Venezuela and in terms of you know stand with the candidate of the opposition uh, party, um, and then a few uh, with um, with Maduro's regime. Um, the United States was one of those first who this, who decided to say, well, the president-elect is Edmundo Gonzalez. We also have Uruguay and, and Argentina. And some countries in the European communities, they have um, indicated that they are you know, um, in favor of, uh, of the Edmundo Gonzalez as the president-elect. But despite all of that, and despite that support for the opposition leader in Venezuela, uh, by the U.S., nothing has happened. I mean, we were just looking at pictures of what was going on on the streets of Venezuela, and you continue to see those protests. So we still, to this day, have not seen the the vote tallies, right, of that election to exactly. confirm, in fact, who the real winner is. Yeah, um, well, um, the, the, the opposition has really the, 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 the tallies, and they were able to show, actually, there is a, a, a digital... Uh, we can go into the website and uh, you can see vote by vote, um, so which is unique. You know, that's something that's a platform that uh, the opposition was really putting together for, for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the reason why we know that we have the votes. Uh, so Edmundo really has uh, around, you know, 70 70 percent of the, of the population vote. Uh, but meaning the tally that, that uh, Maduro is saying that he has, because he obviously says that he has something different, but he still exactly. hasn't been able to come forward with whatever no, he paperwork. He hasn't been able to come forward, you know, with any with any tally, with any votes. Um, unfortunately, uh, this uh, this morning, uh, the, the the Supreme Court from Venezuela uh, decided to support again, uh, you know, the Nicolas Maduro as the winner. Um, and then uh, they, 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 they sent this a strong message about that anything that um, if, uh, if somebody really uh, tried to say anything about the Edmundo to be the president, they will be put in jail. So, you know, the repression is, is becoming uh, increasingly harder and harder. Uh, we see more than right now, more than 1000 civilians are detained. Uh, we have already 15 people has been killed. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, people have been uh, look at their homes and uh, if they have anything to say about, you know, the, the, the opposition and being in favor of the opposition. So we, we are in a, in, a, in a particular crisis right now. Yeah, and despite numbers like that, which you've mentioned, more than a thousand jailed, more than a dozen people have been killed. Those protests on the street are not letting up. People in Venezuela feel like this is a time for them where they want to see real change. As you look at this and you've seen the evolution of what's happened in Venezuela over the last two decades, where do you see things going from here on out? You know, I think that this was... Uh, for us, um, I think it was the, the time. And, and, and when I say that, it's because the other elections have been very different. 
the other elections, the, the regime, they have some support from the population, not this time. We have to remember there are more than 8 million Venezuelans already outside Venezuela. And all of them, you know, they have families uh, in Venezuela. And one of the major, actually the, the theme for the opposition uh, campaign was about returning, you know, going back. And, and so all those families were going out just to make sure that their, their families, their children, uh, their nephews, their nieces, they were coming back. And, and I think that, that really uh, was uh, in the brain of everybody when they were just emotionally. This was more a, a, a spiritual campaign more, uh, rather than you know, being a, a normal campaign. Um, now, what is the direction of the country right now? Uh, we have to be patient. I think the international community is going to be more supportive. Um, we, we, we have to, uh, this is something that if we, the more that we, the longer that we wait, um, unfortunately, what is going to happen is the people is going to start just going and, and getting depressed and this, this sentiment of failure is going to come back again. And we can't really afford right now uh, to be in that position any, anymore. And we continue to see people leaving Venezuela. We know obviously here in Chicago, we now have a large Venezuelan community with just in the last, you know, couple of years, 45,000 being brought here from the Texas border. So you yeah. see that migration continuing. Uh, we appreciate. Yeah. And, and Lourdes, yeah. very recently, just this week, we have, we've been receiving in the, in the Alliance, in the Venezuelan, in, you know, the Venezuelan Alliance website, uh, um, people from Venezuela asking us for a sponsorship. Yeah. Okay. So that's really is a, is an indicator that uh, yeah uh, the the, sen the you know the sentiment right now is where we're going to have okay. to lead the game, and they're getting ready for that. Thank you, Dr. Hill. We appreciate your insight. We will talk to you again soon.